hello 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 everyone welcome 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 back to my channel it is your queen divine mother goddess yamaya and i am back with you all with another intuitive message so take a seat and come in we're going to be doing a general reading okay um this is going to be a um general collective reading it's not going to be for a specific sign all right so whatever energies do come out if they resonate with you because they are placements in your sign i mean or in your chart they are one of the signs in your chart then um okay that is fine you could be you know um a returning viewer yet to subscribe all right and just be checking out um to see what is out here for you um keep in mind that the energies are interchangeable all right if you do um you know return to my channel often then you do know this feel all right that their energies are interchangeable this is past present and future energies all right um and this may or may not be related to specifically to you okay this could be or it may not be it could be someone in your energy that is going through this all right um but yeah so um let's just get started the first card we got coming out here is the two of pentacles all right we got the six of swords as well and we got the page of swords so right off the bat what i'm getting is Someone is definitely very defensive, feeling like they need to counteract a situation so that, you know, things don't get out of hand. Someone could have been, you know, going back and forth in their mind on what decision they wanted to make, okay? Looking up and thinking of different options, all right? Someone could have literally been investigating or not even just investigating, but looking into other places that where they can go to, all right, to get get away or go to a different location um and so yeah um with that being said i'm definitely um getting someone is looking for peace at this time and with them looking for this peace they're definitely trying to find the best option of what will be best for them and um what they should do all right one second all right get off the door mama girl All right, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Magician card coming out in the reverse, which is definitely not good. Um, with that being said, this is um, someone who life could have became chaotic because um, someone was sending magic their way, all right? And not any kind of magic. This specifically was some type of form of black magic. And this person, they could have, they could be an intuitive person. This is someone who definitely um could have got a whiff of what was going on or you know they figured it out with their intuition um somehow this person fi figured it out whether their guides directed you know this information to them or whatever the situation um was someone could have found tangible proof all right but whatever you have it to be um someone found this information out and they moved away from this situation. They got out of Dodge, all right? They didn't take any action to hurt anyone. They just moved on. Yeah, um, this could have been pertaining to, or a Queen of Wands could have been doing this, all right? You could be this Queen of Wands in reverse, or this is a Queen of Wands um, that you're dealing with who's playing in this magic, all right? Yeah, in regards to a lover, all right, so this is a Jezebel spirit. This could literally be someone that is a prostitute as well that is using the money that they make from selling their ass to go in, you know, um, play with magic. They could be doing love spells, all right, paying for love spells to keep someone that is supposed to be with you away from you, all right? This could be someone who's in love with you, all right? With the three of swords in reverse, this could be someone who really, really loves you, but they were juggling you and this person. I'm getting that this is a third-party situation. This could be someone that is their, um, they believe is their soulmate, but could be yours, though. This could be your twin with the ace of cups. Um, this is someone... You're dealing with someone, this queen of wands, who's in love with this person who's actually really your twin, all right? Or your soulmate. This could be someone who's darker complexion. You guys could be two different races, all right? Um, you could be someone 
who has a tattoo on your um, right arm, all right? Could be on your upper right arm, don't have to be. Um, this could also be, um, you could also be someone who has long, like I was saying, black hair, kind of wavy, all right? Um, very defined cheekbones, all right? Well-structured nose. Um, yeah, you could be more slender and um, athletic, all right, figure. And you have a more mess masculine, muscular, um, darker complexion, um, masculine. He don't have to be um, African um, descent. He could be, you know, just a darker ethnicity aside from being African, all right? But this is a darker man, though. Could have dreads or long hair, all right, or locks. But I'm seeing that um, this is someone who was trying to prevent a person that was your lover who could be in love with you um, from beginning this or starting a new beginning with you. But this is someone who they were only with for sex. They wasn't really with them for real love. All right. And you could have been involved with this person um, because they're a new person. Meanwhile, this person in their life is an older person. All right. And you're someone who don't like competition. You're someone who won't allow yourself to be in competition. All right. But this is someone you're dealing with who wants to move forward with you, want a new beginning with you. All right. And they don't want to put you in competition. This is someone who could be guilty or feeling guilty at this time. Um, they could have put you in um, competition in the past, all right? Um, and, you know, this is someone who had to go through a tower. They had a lot of things that were fucked up in their life that needed to change and be, you know, become different um, in order for them to move forward with you. Yeah, with the wheel card coming out here, that's another signification of change. Yeah, could be with the a um Sagittarius, someone um who is changing their life so that they can get balance or spirit is, all right? Um changing their fate. This is someone who was walking on eggshells with, you know, where their destiny was headed to. And now this person is getting back on the ball, all right? 10, 14 could be significant. 10, 16, 5, 16 as well. 6, 5, 6, 3, 5 could be significant, all right? 6, 6, 5, 5 as well. Or 6, 6, 5, 5, 6, 6, 6 as well is out here. Um, 6, 16 is out here as well. Six fourteen. I don't know if I said that one already. Um, five three six three and five one one five one six one three three one um, five one six one are significant to someone. Two one two three two six two five two ten two fourteen two sixteen three sixteen three fourteen three ten. Um, 514, 516, 510, 616, I said that one, 16, 614 as well. All right. Um, but yeah, we got the Page of Cups still coming out here. This is someone who, um, did not express to you how they feel about you. This would be someone who is emotionally withdrawn and closed out. Someone who is, um, very childish with how they express their emotions. All right. Um, this could be someone who's seeing you in a positive light. All right. This is someone who wants to bring happiness to you. Um, you, they, they could be coming out of isolation, isolation at this time. All right. Or this is someone who was making unwise decision, decisions in the past to put you in a third party as I was mentioning. And you walked away from that and walked away from that ass. This is what spirit is saying. Yeah. You let go of that ass with the four of pentacles in reverse. Yeah. You were not holding on to this shit. Yeah. And you didn't want to get anything that they had to offer to you. Yeah. You unblocked um, yourself in this situation. Someone was trying to keep you blocked and stuck. Could have been this um, 
Sagittarius with this temperance, all right? But th this is divine. Um, someone needed to heal. This is divine timing here. With all of these major arcanas with the tower, the wheel, and the temperance card, this is divine timing at play here. Someone who you were destined to walk away from this situation because you are someone that divine would not allow to be in a situation or placed in a situation like this. And now someone is reflecting on you. All right, someone is thinking about, you know, you um, as time passed on. Someone is thinking about the memories that they've had with you, thinking about how they may have missed this opportunity with you, how you're the one that got away, basically. <laughs> yeah, they see how brave you are with the strength card. They view you as someone that's very brave. We have the imprints of, yeah, the sun. You could be someone who... Um, brings happiness to this person but this is someone who's seeing you as very vibrant as well who's um you know free yourself from a lot of things all right this is also someone who sees you as someone who's open very outspoken as well um very truthful all right, this could be someone you don't have a family with. Oh, wow. Or that don't have a family. Oh, my goodness. It's a lot of cards. All right. So, immediately, what I got out here is the Nine of Swords in reverse. All right. Bottom of the deck is the Three of Pentacles. This is de definitely significant to a third party. All right. Um, we got the Queen of Pentacles. In the upright, all right, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. Then we got the Five of Pentacles, more Earth energy, all right? Someone is, um, there's a um, Queen of Pentacles that's leaving someone out in the cold, all right? This is someone who is um, sitting on her throne, very beautiful, not very unbothered, not worried about a motherfucking thing, and walking away from incurring anyone that is not on the same wavelength as her. All right, we have the eight of wands in reverse, and this is someone who's definitely not speaking to one to someone about it. And then we also have, um, well, the inspiration card was right after the death card in reverse. So we also have the death card for Scorpio, and then we have the star card, um, Aquarius. All right, so someone definitely left someone this queen of pentacles left someone out in the cold all right and they cut off all communication with this person all right with the death card coming out in the reverse this they could have been dealing with someone who didn't want to or you could have been someone who didn't want to but you found the strength to do so with the wheel card with the strength card coming out all right um and then we have the star coming out you were inspired you found something that inspired you to walk away from the situation spirit clarify the star king of pinnacles yeah this motherfucker inspire you this is someone who was broke all right um leo aries sagittarius and that's not the only reason why you walked away all right um but this is someone who was happy and in the situation that they were in with the ten of wands all right in reverse and the two of wands this was someone who was happy not able to move forward all right this is someone who knew that they needed to grow but they didn't want to do that they didn't want to think about that they wanted to stay stuck in illusions with the three of pentacles yeah that thinking that they could do this shit with the three of pentacles you know have third parties be involved with other motherfuckers you feel me and still have their cake and eat it too with you but you wasn't having that shit with the justice card in reverse this is unbalanced and this is unfair and it's unright and so you walked away yeah but this is someone with the knight of pentacles in reverse who's broke and they're married and they missed the opportunity with you and now they're very fucking bitter about it and very mad but this is someone who's no longer playing games, though, with the Seven of Swords. They know they can't deceive you or play you or try to play trick you with the Chariot card coming out here. This is someone who wants to move forward, all right? This is someone who wants to come towards you. They could be traveling towards you literally in a car or by some means of transportation. Could be a train as well. This is someone who wants a relationship with you, all right? The Emperor. 
and now they're coming in to try to protect you, all right? But they could be blocked at this time because they have no emotions at this time. They don't really care, all right? And with the Eight of Cups, they don't have any, you know, they don't want to, they don't have any real emotions, but they don't want to walk away, all right? Or they don't want you to walk away with the hangman. They've been enlightened, though, that you help this person. You help this person to see a lot of shit. See that their life was really boring. See that they were with someone who wasn't bringing them fulfillment. All right, a queen of swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, someone who was a total bitch who loved to fight with them. They literally could fight all the time. Fist fight, all right? Someone who was emotionally withdrawn, who didn't express their feelings to them, all right? This is someone who was always canceling plans and this person wanted to go out and party and things like that. This person wasn't wanting to do that. They were on two different pages, all right? But now this person has the strength to put an end to this dynamic with this um queen of swords in reverse all right they're ending this shit aquarius scorpio um leo taurus to go and be with their emperors their divine um uh, feminine yeah someone who doesn't cause them problems with the five of swords in reverse all right this is someone you are someone who has in high intuition as well the king of swords in reverse this person is definitely a soulmate a karmic soulmate with this queen of swords all right but they're seeing you as their divine counterpart they're, they know about this connection they know this connection is one that is spiritual all right and so they're being spiritually directed towards you especially with this tower the wheel and the temperance they're coming to bring you balance they're um, coming to you healed, all right? They don't want to let go, but they understand why you let them go. They understand that it was because they had a family. They were in a relationship, all right? And they were damn near married with, to someone. And so you walked away because you don't do that, all right? But this is definitely someone who could have ended a dynamic with a family, all right? No longer an intact family with someone. And this is someone with the nine of wands that doesn't want to fight with you, Okay. With the page of wands, they want to reach out to you, all right, and ex express themselves to you, or they may want to reach out to you and tell you some things. Maybe try to make it seem like they don't really want to sleep with you or have sex with you, but that's going to be a lie with the Ace of Swords, all right? You coming up as the higher font. This person is broke. They don't have any money, but this person is no longer toxic, but they're stuck right now. They're not able to have their ace of pentacles. The king of wands, the seven of swords, this is someone who's still hurt by the fact that you walked away from them and closed yourself off to them. Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, all right, because this person sees you as their happiness with the ten of cups and they want to work on that. They see also that you're working on your happiness and that you're doing so from your comfort of being at home with your family, all right? But the Knight of Wands and the Hermit, this is still someone that's a player, all right? And they haven't recovered from their player ways. They really care about you, but they're still a player. They're still out here in these streets. <laughs> these streets, these streets. <laughs> I used to talk very ebonic when I was younger. <laughs> had to work on that when I had my daughter. Definitely didn't want her to grow up acting ghetto or talking like she had no education or, you know, she is a reflection of her mother. <laughs> so I needed to make sure that I taught her how to carry herself as a lady. I'll hear any screech. <laughs> But we got influences coming out in the reverse. So this is someone who's definitely not dealing with uh, third parties. They're they're no longer attached to this third party. They could have left it broke, but they're they're better. They're <laughs> oh, they were in an abusive relationship. I'm hearing better. They may have have had to leave it, getting out of it in a fight, <laughs> but they got out that bitch tussling it all. <laughs> oh man, that's fucked up. Somebody grabbed somebody coat and told them they wasn't going nowhere. That shit looked funny too in my head. <laughs> somebody masculine got hemped up. That bitch, that female, she was not letting them go. She wanted to fight. And I'm saying bitch because she was, that's a bitch move. And 
you're being a bitch when somebody want to leave someone is seeking peace let them go harmony i don't understand how females be with that that's some bitch ass shit yeah we have harmony this is someone who has peace now all right they brought balance they do have balance we do have the temperance card this definitely is a sagittarius all right yeah but we got clinging this person is waiting on you they're watching you they're holding on to you this is somebody who's obsessed with you yeah because they know about this spiritual connection i told you they know about this spiritual connection. They know that you're their twin flame. And when consequences coming out in the reverse, this is someone who's facing bad karma at this time because they made a bad decision. All right? This person is uh, being affected by cause and effect, and it's not a good one. All right? This person doesn't want to lose you. This person sees you as someone who they can win with. All right? They're no longer stuck in illusions at this time. This person sees everything. Their, their judgment isn't clouded. They know exactly who the hell you are. And they're seeing that one, they're saying that one day they're going to reach out to you. One day they're going to, you know, express themselves. But at this time, you know, or this could have been someone um with heart fog all right this is someone who could have been sending you um mixed signals all right but this is someone who's going to tell you that they know you know how they really feel for you they're going to stop watching you and actually speak up to you but this is someone who's right now look confessions they're going to tell the truth all right this is someone who's going to tell the truth but you guys could have last time y'all spoke there was a lot of tension it was arguments and things like that and this person, they got, um, they had a wake up call. They had spirits step in and judge their ass and tell them they tripping. You feel me? And they had to do a life review. Now this person is vulnerable. This person is opening themselves wide open to you and telling you everything. All right, with the secret admirer and the confessions, this person is secretly admiring you. They are your secret admirer. This is someone who's obsessed with you. The person that you're thinking of is this person. The person that this is situation is resonating with you know your your story you know your situation all right um this is your admirer could be a fire sign we have a lot of fire out here all right um could also be a earth sign um as well though capricorn taurus virgo or it could be a um, fire sign aries leo sagittarius all right but this person is going to um confess to you with confessions out here all right you can expect the message this person is going to be reaching out to you this is justice though um, a Libra can be tied in, all right, with justification. This person feels like they have to come to you with the truth, all right? This person is being forced to, though. Spirit is directing that ass to you. Yeah, and this person is going to be vulnerable, like I was saying. Confirmation from spirit, all right? Receptive. And you're going to um, have to have an open ear, be um, able to be keen to listen to this person all right because they're going to express themselves to you and they're going to be really pouring themselves out to you and this is someone who's not used to doing that with this page of cups in reverse this is someone who could have a hard time expressing themselves all right could have had a hard time um speaking up for themselves when they were a child all right and that grew and grew up with them and grew onto them as they grew older and so this is someone who's going to start breaking barriers down um with you in their corner five five is definitely significant because i was mentioning that earlier and they are right next to each other same thing five five and five 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 is significant to you here all right you may be seeing those numbers often license plates on your phone just numbers on receipts numbers on your clock microwave anything just random numbers all right you're just noticing them all right um we have um nine two two nine five two and um five 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 okay may 5th 92 could be significant to someone or may 5th 29 could be significant um to someone as well someone could have been born that year as well um all right two six Six five. I mean, no. Um, two nine nine five five nine. All right. But that is pretty much what I have for you at this time. So please do thumbs up the video. Thank you for stopping in with me, and I'll be seeing you real soon. Until next time, have a blessed, a prosperous, and fulfilled day. And I'll be seeing you again. Make sure you subscribe. Bye.